But the interesting thing is I've got four different tigers here. Tiger one is tiger with two spaces. Tiger two is tiger with one space. I can see I've got a space here. Tiger four is tiger with no spaces. I'm just hitting the F2 key. Tiger three is very suspicious. Let's see how Trim handles this. So so, so does Trim get rid of two spaces? I th I'm sure it does. I think it does. So I'm going to go Trim here, then Len. Got six. So Trim only gets rid of one space. Yeah. That's crazy. I would have thought Trim would get, would get rid of two spaces anyway. Uh, trim get, seems to get rid of one space. But if we trim this, trim this one here, and then Len, that gives us five. If you go to column I, you can see the entry has one space after it. And once we've trimmed it using Len, we can see there's five characters. And then we've got this one at the bottom, just for completeness. I'll trim this one as well. But you can see there's no problem with this data entry because there's no additional characters after it. I'm just going to go Control C and Control V. So the really suspicious one is this one here. What's going to happen when I trim this one? Let's hit F2, and we can see there's one space after it. What's going to happen? I go to Trim, so Trim here, and then we're going to take the Len down, and you can see it's still got six. So that is crazy. So I've got two spaces there. It's only trimmed one. Uh, control C, Control Alt V, V, just convert that to values. I can see I've still got a space after it. But okay, let's put that to one side. The fact it won't trim two spaces off the end. What about this one? This looks like a single space, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like a single space, but still we're getting len six when we would expect to get a length of five. We'd expect to have one, two, three, four, five characters there. So what's this one? And, and this is. It looks exactly the same as a space, but it's not actually a space. Okay, and let's prove this. Let's do some find. So I want to find the text. I want to find the space within this cell. So here it's saying the space is the seventh character. So the second space is the seventh character. Here it's saying the space is the sixth character. This one, it's saying there's no space. That's why we're getting the error. There's no space there. Then this one also says there's no space. So what we've got to look out for is this car 160, car 160. So this car formula returns the character specified by the code number from the character set for your computer. Mm. So if I say car 121, for example, uh, that happens to be Y, 127, that's whatever that is, 197 is the A with some kind of accent on. The car 160 is... Just as it's just a space, and then we can go control C, control Alt V, V, take the value. If I then hit F2, I can see there's actually a space in that cell. People were copying information from email into this Excel file, and when and when they were doing that, um, they were sometimes picking up some spaces, picking up those some spaces from these emails. But these spaces, when they were brought into Excel, they weren't recognized as spaces you know as as i'll typically express a space in excel they were expressed as these so look out for this one so if i change this find and then say character 160 here what's going to happen now we can see excel can find the character 160 because it's at the end now we know this is character 160, we should be able to go back to our original data set now. And then how might we do this? Although that's that's still seven. So, so the double trims are not going to work. So we'll just have to treat those separately. Try to substitute. So, so this is the text, isn't it? Yeah, the text is here. All text is character 160. And the new text is nothing. Okay, got these formally going down. Okay, then let's have len four here. So hopefully there'll be some differences to len four. And let's say, and this this is with the replace here. Okay, let's take you across control R, change the data range here. You seem to only have fives. Yep, so that did that seemed to fix everything. I wasn't expecting that to fix everything. So it might be, it might be where we have two spaces. So here, for example, we appear to have two spaces. Maybe we've actually got one space and then one character 160. That's what I think is happening. Because when you replace the 
the character 160s it does seem to fix everything after you've done the the original trims after you've done the original trims that we did so, so you need the trim and the replace if you the, the to fix that data set it's chris here and if you enjoyed this video i've got a special treat for you we've got a full one hour session from our members monday community it's absolutely free all you have to do is sign up put your email into the link below this video we will email you some information about our fantastic members monday community but it's absolutely free it's a one hour session the link is in the video description below